Thirty years ago, the Royal Commission that I was part of uh, made recommendations uh, to the Parliament—339 recommendations. That commission had been set up by the Hawke government. Uh, and, uh, at that time, there were 99 deaths that we were concerned about in this nation to, to effect a national royal commission. Now we've got over 400 deaths since that royal commission, and we have 30 years that have passed that have not addressed the underlying issues that give rise to people being taken into custody and, consequently, dying in custody. So the social factors of health, housing, education, employment and the legal factors surrounding those have not been addressed in a manner to relieve this awful blight on this nation's history. And, it's, and there's a continuing pattern, there's a systemic pattern here which I'd appeal to the government and this new Butte system that the minister's believing is going to find the answers to it, this new Federation Reform Council, that this group of people actually look at the systemic approaches that take place. First Nations people are likely to come to the attention of police. We know that. The First Nations people who come to the attention of the police are likely to be arrested and charged. We know that. First Nations people who come to the attention of the police will be charged, but they will also be sent uh, to court. And when they go to court, what happens? They'll be sent to jail. Now this is a pattern, this is a paradigm that uh, is systematic, it's systemic, it's institutionalised. And if you look at this uh, from the point of view of the, from the First Nations point of view, this is about the subjugation of the First Nations people. This is not about enlightened policy, this is about subjugating the First Nations people. You correlate that to the number of people who are being taken away, the number of kids, it would be 30,000 kids in out of home care. And you, and you come up with a, which, oh, it's going to take time, it's complicated, and you know, it's really difficult. Well, it's not. Address the underlying issues, health, housing, education, employment, and work with First Nations peoples uh, through the COAG uh, system, or through the new system of the Reform Council, whatever it is, to actually set some targets, as uh, Senator Wong had asked, around these things, for incarceration rates and for the diminishment of removing kids from, from uh, custody uh, or being, being can, uh, removed from their homes and put into custody uh, by, uh, in, in other families, which ultimately will lead to the adoption out of these kids. And I remind the government that the Bringing Them Home report will not analyse the policies and practices that pertain to that practices, those heinous practices, bordered on genocide. Bordered on genocide. So I, re I ask you sincerely to make this a priority, a top priority, for too long. Nice words, good intentions, but the lack of action and commitment has not seen a reduction to the custodies or the deaths in custodies. It's seen an escalation in the social uh, indicators that diminish First Nations people and diminish us as a nation. It diminishes us as a nation because we are incapable of dealing with it. So I ask the, the government to sincerely put to, put to practice the best intentions into commitments and into, into real working and commitments with the First Nations peoples and get real agreements with the states. And don't pussyfoot around with the states and say, oh, it's the state's responsibility. Well, we know this. You've been capable of finding ways of dealing with this. Now it's the time to stop the rot of First Nations dying in custody, being over imprisoned and their children being put into out-of-care home. Thank you.